Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to tell you how you're going to start a digital marketing agency. Now I'm not going to take a lot of your time by telling you very relevant things, I'm going to get straight to the point with the details. So there's a few things that you're going to need to, you know, decide before starting a digital marketing agency. Now to start things off, first of all, everything needs to start off with a niche. Okay, you're going to start what type of digital media will you be marketing? Okay, there's a lot of niches. You can also search up digital marketing niches and they're going to give you so many niches. So there's social media contents. Uh, there's, you know, e-commerce, web development, email marketing, mobile marketing, influencer marketing, anything you want. It's available over here. So first of all, you're going to choose your niche, you know, what niche is best for you. So the best type of three niches right now are obviously social media, e-commerce and email marketing. So in this video's case, let's say I'm going to go with email marketing. Okay, what is email marketing? Act of sending a commercial message typically to a group of people using emails in it, right? Now, what kind of softwares do you use for this? So digital marketing can be done without software. So once you've chosen a niche, you're going to take the niche for that software. So let's say in my case, if it's email marketing, the best email marketing software out there is MailChimp, in my opinion. So obviously, we can come over to MailChimp right here, and you can start working with your MailChimp, okay? Because your email marketing can be done without a software, and your digital marketing can be done without a niche. Now, once you've decided these two things, from there, the third step is how you're going to get clients for digital marketing agencies. So you're going to do a lot of cold mails and a lot of cold work at first to actually get clients. Obviously, you're going to start off with less people. You're going to go to higher people. And obviously, you're going to want a lot of investment in this because their digital marketing agency just doesn't start like that. So you're going to need hosting. You're going to need domains. Once you get that, you're going to need a lot of people. You're going to need people to work with because an agency is an enterprise. And to work with an enterprise, you need a lot of people. Now, to start affiliating on ClickBank, what you are going to want to do is you're going to make sure to go ahead and uh, have an account with ClickBank. Now, if you know how to use ClickBank, you know, you're going to know that it's basically for affiliates. So what affiliation is, is that affiliates basically take products off of uh, some certain uh, marketplace. And once they take those products off, uh, after taking those products off, what you're going to do is you're going to become an affiliate for them. So you're going to take the link. In that link, you're going to have your product key. And after using that product key, you're going to send it around. You're going to let people know that, okay, there's this product and I want you to buy it. Okay, you're going to convince people to buy that product and you're going to get a chunk of money out of it. So you can actually customize your ClickBank experience. So, you know, they're going to ask you all these things. You're going to fill in their questions. And once you fill in their questions, they're going to give you an account to work with. So you can become an affiliate pretty simply and pretty easily. And you can sell your product as well, acquire new customers with affiliation. And, you know, you have other proper seller sources as well. And here's the thing that affiliates can do. You can get affiliate overview and there's different events and you get really good revenue off. OK, you get really good profit on ClickBank as well. Pinterest affiliate marketing. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can become an affiliate for Pinterest and actually do affiliate marketing on your Pinterest account so to do this for yourself what you're going to be doing is first of all you're going to come to pinterest and you are going to create an account with pinterest and you're going to want to make sure that you have a business account as i have over here so as you can see i've already started my affiliation and you know i have a lot of impressions clicks and saves now to become an affiliate what we're going to be doing is first of all we're going to go ahead to amazon and become an affiliate for amazon okay so you're going to go ahead to amazon associate central get the affiliation account. Once you do that, you're obviously going to get your um, site suite. So let's say I want to affiliate for this brand over here. Okay, there, there's this Razer um, membrane switches gaming keyboard. Okay, now what I'm going to do is when I become an affiliate for these people, what's going to happen from here is it's going to give me a lot of things to work with. So I'm going to go ahead, take the link off of this. Okay, here I'm going to come to Pinterest. I'm going to click on create. I'm going to click on create pin. And once we click on create pin, obviously I'm going to upload a photo of this keyboard. Then I'm going to add the title and all these separate things. And here and add a link, I'm going to add the link of the actual, you know, affiliation link that I have. And that's pretty much about it. So that's how you can become a Pinterest affiliate marketer. Hi guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use Pinterest for affiliate marketing, the best tips and tricks and how you can actually skip the line because a lot of people are doing the same exact mistakes. First thing, let's launch the Pinterest app. 
The most important part that you want to focus over here is to look at high ticket offers and low ticket offers, meaning are you going to promote a more expensive item or a little cheaper item? As you can see over here, there is someone who is actually promoting uh, on the expensive side. You, you can see over here when you click, there is a Tudor watch, right? And very important. You want to pay attention that this is not what he is selling. When you click on the item, you will get a similar items and suggestions from Tudor, okay? He could have created his own page where he can actually promote and link all of this. So important step number one will be to choose what niche you want to focus. Do you want to focus on the expensive stuff or do you want to focus on less expensive stuff? Because if you click over here, somebody is promoting a TISO, right? Is the watch TISO over here. So this is a very similar vibe, but this time around, we don't have a $3,000 watch, but instead we have a $700 watch promotion, right? We have a Zara pants or, or whatever brand this is, and you have uh, Adidas shoes. So they both look very similar, but they're targeting a different audience. So this is why it is very important for you to target the right audience. Don't try to target uh, people who are buying expensive luxurious items and try to promote an Adidas or, or, or brands that are not uh, luxurious, right? So step number one will be for you to target the right audience. And you want to make sure that everything is having a variety of choices. Look at this, for example, right? They even put their Instagram handle. So if you actually go on their Pinterest account, you will see that you hardly going to see any product. Okay. You're going to see a lifestyle images. So the main point over here is that if you want to build your own brand from time to time, you have to publish posts that are without ads, without sales offer. So essentially you're going to gain trust and you're going to get the right people to follow you. People who are really, truly interested in the same niche. Another example over here. So if you look at over here, this is something that I don't like. Why I don't like? Because this is a mistake what I mentioned earlier. They're mixing a brands that are not usually associated with the same person. The person who is, you know, buying uh, a Hermes, you know, beanie, is not the person who is going to be wearing Nike shoes at the same time or Povo uh, sweatshirt, right? It's not something that you definitely want to combine. Also Cartier. Cartier is pretty like old money stylish type of brand, right? It's not so expensive, but it's like it's giving you the vibe of of, of mature person, uh, which is not going to wear uh, this, you know, uh, I would say uh, North Face look like jacket with uh, with these shoes over here, the low uh, the low toe uh, Nike Air Max, right? It's not it's not it's not gonna be. This is what I was trying to say, guys. You want to make sure that you are really focusing on the right brands. You combine the right stuff and then everything will go smoothly. We will have no issue. Like, for example, over here, right, you have a watch that looks like Patek Philippe. It, not, it is not. This is why the combination might be perfect. Because they have a Lacoste, right? They have a Zara. They have a Reebok. Everything is like regular, normal brands, right? Nothing crazy. But if they put the actual Patek Philippe, this will be a bad decision bad choice because this is not the audience but this brand i haven't heard of it might be a chinese brand i really don't know it's not uh, gonna make a perfect combination people will not be uh you know really convinced to buy or even click on the links because they might think that you don't really know what they're looking for so this is the pro tips over here guys point number one identify your audience and point number two you want to make sure that everything is aligned and everything makes sense. Don't try to reinvent the wheel and try to make things that are completely new out of nowhere. Because most likely you're going to make a mistake. Just try to improve everything that already exists and it's working. For more tips and tricks like this, guys, subscribe and follow for more. Hi, guys. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Pinterest to promote your business like a pro. Let's launch the Pinterest app. 
Usually when you start a business and try to compete with someone on a new platform, you need to study the market, right? Well, guess what? Pinterest is not like the other platforms. When you pick your direct competitor selling the same exact product or offering the same exact service, like this table or furnishing item over here, right? You would see who is the next competitor on the line by simply scrolling down. Well, guess what? Look at this. All the Etsy sellers and original with the own website, as you can see over here, bedroom makeover ideas, right? And every other competitor is right over here. Dark classy, right? You don't have to go on Etsy and look for your competitors to see what is working and what isn't. Because yes, you could see the orders, right? You could see how many people are actually viewing the items, but you cannot identify which type of content is actually generating the most. Just look at this. If you click on this offer over here, right? You see what they're offering. You want to scroll down and you want to see that there are other sellers who are selling similar items. You could simply get inspired by what they're selling. And it's not only people selling the physical items. Just look at this page. This is home office ideas, right? And if you click on the items that are promoted, right? You could simply see what is stuck and you could see what is actually recommended by simply identifying this part of the puzzle. So the main point over here is that you should go on Pinterest and first study your competitors because it is very easy to find them. It is very easy to study them. While if you go on just the platform they're selling, for example, you go to Amazon, you go to Etsy, you're just going to see the number of sales. You're just going to see how many listings they have, right? But guess what? They're not going to act the same way on Pinterest the way they did on their own platform or the third-party software, right? On Pinterest, they're only going to pick the pictures that already worked out, the content that already makes sales on the other platform. So essentially, they are taking what is already proven to be working on Etsy, on Amazon, on whatever platform or website they're using as a landing page, and they're taking it and they're just putting it here on Pinterest. So essentially, you're coming here on Pinterest, you're doing your research, and you're just collecting the best working strategies from your competitors. Just, just imagine, right? You're not going and scrolling through the listings. Uh, you know, some store on, on Etsy could have uh, 150 listings and they could generate their leads or sales just from like five listings. And you will have a hard time finding which are these five, right? But over here, you're sure. Because if you go on this page over here, right? No, they just have an arrangement of only the best content. You don't see a mediocre content, right? You cannot publish a content like this on Etsy. And you know that very well. And remember, the main point of promoting or running ads on Pinterest is that you essentially have a double feed. As you can see, the feed over here is split into two sections. So the chances of you getting skipped and not seen is very, very high because there are many other pictures or videos that are running at the same time that will distract the viewer. So this is what I meant by saying that you only have to create the best content. You only have to copy only the best strategies that are working because if you lose your time with mediocre pictures or videos, people will simply skip them, right? Do you see how many pictures we skipped over here? Like this prints over here on, on the Scarface? You see how mediocre looks like? It's obvious Photoshop, right? It's not It's not uh, what the actual product probably looks like. Or if it looks like this, you know, you understand how bad it is, right? While you, you have something like, which is a high quality content, right? You could see that a lot of these timepieces over here, look at this carpet on, on, on the right side, right? So this is what I'm trying to say. Don't try to be you know, mediocre, all you gotta do is to copy what is working and make it a little better. It's easier to find your competition. It's easier to make your research here on the platform. And like I said, you could have your chance by simply using the working strategy. Don't try to reinvent the wheel. 
for more tips and tricks like this guys subscribe and come back for more guys in this video i'm going to show you how people are making a lot of money on pinterest app and it's all about how you promote your product i'm gonna give you two examples and your mind will simply be blown away let's launch the pinterest app first let me show you this product over here you see somebody actually sold out this product on etsy and they're selling it for 49 dollars and 99 cents well guess what the same exact product over here on sheen is selling for only eight dollars and 90 cents same exact print you see keep on going never give up right it's only eight dollars and 90 cents 56 orders so far if you go all the way up they're selling the same exact one do you see that never give up right keep on going for 50 bucks how about this this is the power of pinterest my dear friends you can find any product that is competing with you that is part of the niche it is part of the industry and you can find how people are actually selling it are people drop shipping it are people creating a private label as you can see over here there are a bunch of different sellers selling the same exact product same print same design absolutely the same product and the disparency in prices is mind-blowing just think about what is the difference between selling a hundred pieces of this nine dollars right per piece which is 900 dollars in revenue versus the person who is selling it for 50. 100 pieces for 50 is essentially five thousand dollars my dear friends so i hope you very very clearly understand the difference between marketing the same exact product but paying attention who is selling this product to so very carefully that when we click on the first option which was the 50 dollars i will go back and i will show you this one for 50 dollars right and when you click and visit the etsy store these people are selling in europe simply because as you can see the price is in euros okay versus if you go on the sheen right I, i'm not sure if sheen is available in in europe but if you simply click on it again click the notebook scroll down to the competition click on the sheen you visit the actual sheen store and you will see that this is not available in europe this is only for us so this is how people obviously we can speculate that they're uh, you know getting the product from sheen or from other chinese supplier but people are making a lot of money and just think about you might be doing this <laughs> from the comfort of your home just taking a better pictures creating a better sales offer sales pitch because just compare over here look at the description in this you know the cheaper one right one piece you know em embossed cover notebook you know blah 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 nothing special pictures I mean it just looks okay nothing wow if you go back on the on the 50 bucks right look at this things are looking much more professional it looks like this is a very good gift for a person that is uh, into business the person that is is creating his own you know uh text on plans on uh, you know notebooks taking notes person that is very organized you can give this to someone that you know essentially has everything it looks like a good gift for a person with money it looks like a good gift for a person that is just uh, you know into artistic uh, hobbies so i want you to pay very close attention how you can market the same exact product but because your marketing is better you can simply charge more 10 times 20 times 30 times more and this is how you can make a lot of money same pictures will not do the job same product could do the job but the same marketing strategy and the same pictures will not do the job for more tips and tricks like this guys subscribe and follow for more video guys i'm going to show you how people are making a lot of money on pinterest they're using their imagination and sometimes the skills that you need are not the skills that you're actually selling let's launch the pinterest app and let me show you what i'm even talking about Look at these sneakers over here. People are selling a custom Air Jordan sneakers, okay? 
We can speculate how they actually end up with this product, but guess what? If you know that there is a market for customization, you can simply go out there, find someone who is actually into covering, painting, shoes, clothes, right? And you can buy the plain Air Jordan. You can pay the person to customize the shoes, take a picture and publish it. And guess what? You can do the same exact business model with any product. You can go and find somebody who is doing engraving, right? You can buy a nice bow pens, a plain a silver metal stainless steel, right? You can buy a bulk of these pens and you can offer engraving, right? You can buy the pens for uh, 50 cents on a dollar and you can find somebody to do a 50 cents engraving and there you have it. You got the one dollar cost acquisition on your product and you can charge for $9.99. Who's not going to buy a bow pen for $9.99, right? With a custom engraving. Don't forget you're going to be charging shipping, so on and so forth. But this is just an example over here, guys. I want you to look at their charging for this particular sneakers over here almost 250 dollars okay very very interesting when you actually scroll down you will see that there are other people who are doing something similar we all know if you go on the actual nike website they will offer you a customization on some of the shoes right uh, but they're not gonna offer you something like this just look at these pairs over here right this looks crazy looks insane Somebody really put a lot of work and you see the prices are all the same. And if they're here, guess what? A lot of people are actually shopping stuff like this. A lot of people are into stuff like this. So I want you to think about what custom item or custom service you can provide or you know someone that could provide. And I want you to connect the dots. I want you to find the product, plain and simple, find the service that will customize the product then I want you to order or make a sample, take a nice, very high quality pictures, and then I want you to come over here and publish it. Because if you look, people are doing crazy stuff. Look at these shoes. These shoes probably were simple, plain Nike Air Jordan, and people just customize it like crazy, right? And there is a huge market around this. We all know there are a lot of people who are actually you know just buying the shoes and just keeping the shoes at home it's like a painting like a work of art they're not using the shoes look at look at what's what's happening over here the prices are crazy you see this for 720 dollars and this is coming from nike okay you see the other you see people selling it on poshmark people have their own landing pages there's a major major interest and demand for shoes like this customization everywhere so i want you to think about customizable item that you could have right like i mentioned pens notebooks you can offer like in the previous video i shared with you how somebody is actually selling a thick notebook uh, with a leather cover and with emboss if you can offer you know some crazy embossing design something nice uh, and you know you can source the the notebooks give uh, a very good cost basis and then you can simply compete straight with any other uh, seller here on the platform you can customize absolutely everything so i want you to think about what you can customize uh, who will customize it for you if you're not so artistic i want you to think about or look someone who can actually give you a good price there are plenty of people with a lot of skills they can draw they can they can create designs they can emboss they can do embroideries they can do uh, engravings i want you to think about the particular process of customization and i want you to create a sample and then start publishing a lot of pictures high quality pictures and let's see what is going to happen for more tips and tricks like this guys subscribe and follow for more Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how you can use affiliate marketing to make a lot of money on Pinterest. It is very easy and I'm going to show you how other people are doing it. Let's launch the Pinterest app over here. So first thing you want to pay very close attention, you don't necessarily have to sell physical products with affiliate marketing. You can sell digital products as well. You can sell, as you can see over here, somebody is like 
promoting uh, vitamin cheat sheet right it could be some lessons it could be some uh, you know tips some program some methodology right something that is unique but it's in digital format so for example let's say you want to promote some of these guys right if you click more then you want to see that they prefer essentially to not include the link over here but if you click read it the link will appear under or somewhere around the article do you see that just look at this i haven't checked this one but you see on top over here it says post contains affiliate links so there is two ways you can go about it you can do a funnel like these people which means you just post a picture or something useful for free on pinterest and people click on it and people want to read more more about it and they end up you know checking the links inside the article this is the the, the proposition the scenario number one scenario number two is simply you come over here and you show something and the link is right over here right you come over here and then you just swipe and the link will be right over here so other people will also put the link somewhere underneath right so this is what what makes the big difference can you do a funnel without using the the sales pitch in the actual content do you see that that's what i'm talking about so see 20 ways to use dow dish soap but then there is no swipe or something but you see inside the description they put their website so this is the three ways you can approach the affiliate marketing situation pick up the product physical or digital okay and then come over here and look what other people who are selling the same product have the most success with are they selling the actual product with the pricing with the promotion here or they're providing free content and there is a link associated in the description or there is a link built inside the post itself study these guys test and see which one works best for you for more videos like this guys subscribe and like this video